Before beginning the procedure, you must knock before entering a patient's private space. Identify your patient by name and introduce yourself, telling the patient both your name and title. Inform the patient of the skill to be performed and obtain permission from the patient to perform the skill. Pull the privacy curtain and tell the patient that you will be leaving briefly to wash your hands. Upon returning, explain that you will be performing a series of exercises that will be repeated three times each. Make sure you are working on the appropriate leg as ordered by the physician. Explain how each exercise will be done before the beginning of the exercise and allow time for questions. When the patient is ready, gently grasp the patient's leg with both hands and bend the knee toward the chest as if the patient were climbing stairs. Lower the leg all the way to the bed. Repeat this action three times. Ask them to tell you if they experience any pain or discomfort and watch carefully for any signs of pain like wincing or grimacing. Make sure you are supporting the leg completely, both above and below the knee. For the second exercise, explain that the leg will be gently moved to the side, like making a snow angel. Extend the leg in a lateral motion, holding the leg gently both above and below the knee. Move the leg slowly and smoothly and return each time to the starting position. Ask about pain or discomfort and repeat the exercise three times. The third exercise is a rotation exercise of the hip. Move the patient's legs slightly apart and place your palms above and below the knee. Gently roll the leg inward toward the middle of the bed and outward as if you were rolling cookie dough. This should be felt in the hip if done correctly. Repeat three times and ask about pain or discomfort. Remember to describe each exercise before you perform it to minimize patient anxiety. Next, hold the foot upright and move the foot in an up and down motion as if the patient were stepping on a gas pedal. Make sure you extend both forward and backward each time and ask frequently about pain. Repeat three times. The next exercise turns the foot laterally. Hold the ankle in one hand and with the other hand turn the patient's foot inward and outward three times. For the final exercise, explain that you will be moving the foot in circles. Hold the patient's ankle in one hand and using your other hand, move the foot in a circular motion three times. After all exercises have been completed, ask if the patient has any pain or discomfort or if they need anything before you leave. Make sure they have their call light and open the privacy curtain. Ensure their environment is neat and clean and wash your hands. Mentally review your skill to ensure all steps have been covered and make any corrections. Finally, tell the evaluator your skill is done.